Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to introduce using SwiftComp to solve a generalized free edge problem. SwiftComp is a code based on mechanics of a stretched genome. If you have interest in this theory, you can navigate to cdmhub.org to learn more or watch more videos in this playlist. Free edge effect states that due to a mismatch in elastic properties of neighboring layers, full-scale 3D and highly concentrated stress fields occur at the interfaces between two dissimilar layers along the free edges of a thermally or mechanically loaded laminate. SwiftComp can provide a solution for the free edge problem of a general composite laminates subjected to a combined mechanic loads using mechanics of a structured genome, MSG in short. To study free edge effects using MSG, we consider a long laminate plate so that the centrivalent principle can be adopted, which is the only assumption in this theory. For the free edge problem of our long laminates shown in this figure, mechanics of a structured genome mathematically split the original 3D problem into a 2D cross-sectional analysis and a 1D beam analysis. First, a homogenization analysis is carried out to get the effective beam stiffness and the dehomogenization relations. Then, the effective beam stiffness can be used in the 1D beam analysis to solve for the beam strain and the curvatures along the X direction. Lastly, the beam strength at any specific position along X can be used for MSG to carry out a dehomogenization analysis and to predict the 3D stress, strain, and the displacement fields. Both the homogenization analysis and the dehomogenization analysis are carried out by SwiftComp. Now, I'm going to use these four layers metric laminates as an example to show how to conduct a free edge stress analysis using SwiftComp in APCA's SwiftComp GUI. In this example, at the cross section, the load resultance is minus one newton meter, and the direction of the torque point to the positive x direction. Since in the Abacus Swift Comp GUI, 2D structure genome must lie in the YZ plan. First, we use this button to set the work plan for the 2D cross section of the laminate. Here, we specify a new part name, PN45S. Choose 2D and click OK. Now, following the tips shown here, in the part module, we use the button Create Shell Planner and create the geometry of the cross section and partition the region of each layer. In the property module, we need to create the material and assign material properties to each layer. Here, I have already calculated the material properties for each layer and saved in the model. And then, we need to create the shell sections for the positive and the negative 45 degree materials. Finally, we assign the sections created to the geometry. The next step is to create mesh on the part, not an instance, and we put more elements near the layer interfaces and the free edges, where the localized stress will happen. Now we are ready to conduct the homogenization analysis using the homogenization button. Choose the part we have just created, choose the beam as the macro model, and click OK. Now we have obtained the effective beam stiffness matrix and the effective compliance matrix. We can calculate the load at the cross-section using mechanics of materials. For this case, 
At each cross section, the load is the torque of one newton meter. Then we can calculate the strain and the curvatures of the beam, epsilon one one, couple one one, couple one two, couple one three. The final step is dehomogenization. Let's click the dehomogenization button, input the macro beam strain and curvatures in the table. Click OK. Now we can obtain the stress strain fields of the cross section. The displacement U in the results are the warping of the beam cross section. Compared with detailed 3D FEA results, we can find that the stress from using Swift Comp agrees well with 3D FEA results. Thank you for watching this video.